Hi, just going to make a quick video to show you how you can um, have a look at the pupils work that's been saved into J2 Launch. And you know, pupils, whatever they create, whether it's a J2 code piece of work or some writing or a JIT picture or anything in the J2E toolkit, whenever they click save, even if they use the younger versions one, they don't even have to na name it and say where it's going to save, it always saves into their personal My Files area. So they have a complete catalog of all their past work. But as a teacher, how do you find that work? How do you see what they've been doing? Really simple. You as a teacher, when you've logged in, you have a folder called Pupils Files. The children don't have these. It's just for staff. Okay, so every staff has access to this. And as a teacher, if you want to see a piece of work, you would click on Pupils Files. Now, what will happen in here, there should be a folder for every class in your school. Now, if there isn't, there are two things that might have happened. One is, these folders are populated by use. So let's say that you've got a class in your school called Bluebell class, and you're expecting to see some work in there. That's because nobody in Bluebell, Bluebell, Bluebell class has actually created and saved any work. These folders are, appear on use, populated by use. Now, you might have folders in here, but the children might be in the wrong folder. They might not be in the right place. Now, what that another issue might be is that your auto update isn't syncing. So your auto update is something that works in the background that links your USO to your Sims and knows who's working, which children, which year groups. So if that if you have got a problem in here, you're expecting to see something and it's not there, then it might be an issue with your auto update, which you probably need to raise the support case to the LGFL or talk to your technician they will be able to have to perhaps see behind the scenes to see whether your auto update is actually working or needs updating or syncing or whatever the word is. Okay, so I'm a teacher in this school. This is a 3BM school and I'm a teacher in orchard class. I want to see what my pupils in orchard class have been doing. I've been setting lots of homework. Um, I've been setting lots of activities. Who's been engaging? So I'm going to click on orchard class. Now what it tells me is that little number of the side is how many pupils there are in that class. So you can you can see how many children actually have engaged as a, as a first look so I click on orchard class and I've got three ch three children in my group Buzz Lightyear very popular pupil everyone wants to be in Buzz Lightyear's class but anyway can you see little number five that means he's got five pieces of work in there little com little uh, speech bubble is there's what's called a learning conversation remember you can have a conversation with children about their work little forward and backward conversation i'll show you that when we look in so we look at buzz like here he's got five pieces of work if you want to see buzz's work sounds so wrong doesn't it <laughs> you click on the folder and there we are there's all his work he's done story template he's in j2 office he's done a home learning diary He's done, he's got a little, we've uploaded a PDF in there. He's done a little how do you feel chart. And that's where the learning conversation is. Can you see that little number two there? Means that there's two little comments going on. And if I click on that, here we go. The teacher said, great work. And Buzz Lightyear's replied, thanks, Mr. Hughes. So it's quite nice. You can keep, actually keep in touch with children. Really important at the moment to have that little bit of a uh, conversation going if you want to use the J2E tools. So that's looking at pupil files. Okay. That's how pupils can um, save their work and you can see their work. OK, so that's a really useful tool. But remember, as I said, if you go in and it's not looking quite right, A, it might be the children haven't actually done any work yet. Chase them. If they're on the wrong classes or you're getting a confused chat to your technician, there might be um, some issues with your auto update not syncing as yet. OK, I hope that's really useful for you. And 